Uh, I think Einstein once said that uh, if bees disappeared from the world in four years' time, so would we. I was just looking to see if I could see the Queen. Paul Udy has been collecting honey from hives in his Sydney backyard for 40 years. So why do you think neighbours come to you for the honey instead of going to supermarkets? I think there is a lot of concern out there in the community. They want to have a product that is pure uh, and they feel, I think, that that much of the honey that they're consuming, or certainly a portion of it, is actually has been adulterated in some way. I have had people come to the house. Uh, they told me that they were diabetics uh, and uh, they needed to make sure it was pure honey because if there had been syrup or other products added, it could have affected their diabetes and, and affected their health in the long term. His friend and neighbour, Professor Mark Taylor, shares a love of beekeeping. Professor Taylor is one of the researchers behind a new study produced by Macquarie University, which found there is something seriously scandalous going on within the honey industry. Inside this high security government lab, Australian scientists test border forces seized drugs for purity. They also test honey. The study was undertaken predominantly by my PhD student, Zhao Teng Zhao, and so as part of that study we collected 100 samples from various places around the world. We'd seen stories around this issue of adulteration and geographic mislabeling of honey, and so we thought that would be a really useful contribution to science to understand the prevalence and persistence of that problem. Australia's peak measurement body, the National Measurement Institute, did the testing using Australia's official C4 sugar test. The study has been a year in the making. 95 branded honey samples were tested, as well as five raw honey samples. They were bought from supermarkets, as well as smaller markets, from 19 countries, including Australia. The results found 27% of the overseas samples were adulterated. But the big shock was 18% of the Australian samples weren't pure honey, despite the labelling. The adulterated honey samples were found in Victoria, Queensland, New South Wales and Tasmania. Honey from Asia had the highest adulteration rate, followed by Europe. Were you shocked by those results? In terms of Australia, yes, I was a bit surprised that the results were so high, but I suppose in some ways to counterbalance that, we know the uh, issue of adulteration is a prevalent problem, but we didn't think it would be that persistent in Australia from Australian produced products. Why can't you name the brands? Well, the study is not really about particular brands. It's about looking at the persistence and prevalence of the authenticity of honey. And it points to the fact that Adulteration is a common and persistent practice, which then leads us to ask the question, you know, what are we doing about it? What should we do about it? Can you tell us whether the, it was some of the boutique high-end brands that were adulterated honey? It did include some boutique brands and it came from a range of providers. And um, we also tested um, some Manuka honey and that failed. That is a boutique brand. There's something in the order of about 10 times as much Manuka honey sold as is produced. Fake honey is everywhere. It's the third most adulterated food in the world. Fraudsters dilute honey with cheap syrups to reduce costs and boost profit. They can do it because Australian authorities only test 5% of imported honey, and local honey isn't tested at all. Australia's official honey test, known as C4, can only detect a narrow range of syrups used by fraudsters to cheat the tests. Even so, the C4 test found samples of Australian branded honey was adulterated. It means the results could be conservative. Last month, 730 revealed an international lab specialising in food fraud found some of Australia's most popular imported honey brands were adulterated. Australia's consumer watchdog, the ACCC, is investigating. The public need to know uh, what's going on here. 
the industry wants certainty as well. I think as soon as this is settled, the better for everybody involved. The ACCC has also been given these latest results. As chairman of the peak body for the honey industry, does Australian honey have a problem? No, Australian honey doesn't have a problem. But adulteration is a global problem, so how can you be confident that Australia is the only country that is free of that? Oh, I'm not saying that Australia is totally free. We have not seen any evidence of this point in time. So what sort of testing is done? Is there an authority that is testing local honey? Local honey is not tested. It is up to the individual, um, the individual companies that actually buy the honey in to then test it. How confident should consumers be that what they're buying on labels is what they're really getting? They should be very confident. How can you say that though? Because I'm a beekeeper. I'm also the chairman of our industry and I talk to other beekeepers. We're all just producing the best product we can. But you can't know all beekeepers or producers are doing the right thing. No, it's exactly right. We can't know what everyone's doing, so we do our best efforts to ensure that everyone is doing things to a standard and they are doing things to a code. It's the same, it's the same as reporters. You know, there's bad reporters and there's good reporters. What impact do you think this study will have on the industry? Hopefully it will have very little impact in terms, hopefully it will be a wake up call if it is proven to be the case that there is adulteration. I trust Australian honey. So that frame is largely filled with honey. Because adulterated honey is being sold at a much cheaper price, it means that some beekeepers who put in a lot of effort are being undersold and many of them are finding it very difficult to make ends meet. What do you want, chooks? Really, I think it's just greed and I think it's an abomination that honey that is sold as Australian honey, in fact is not. 